Hi guys, it's Becky, and guess what just got here today? It is my Sam's bead box for December 2023, and the theme for this one is Winter Wanderer. And I'm really excited because I am just super into wintry colors right now, we, whether it's holiday colors, whether it is winter themed, and I am so happy when we have <laughs> things that are themed this way. So let's get this guy open, see what's inside of it. Now Sam's Bead Box is a monthly bead subscription box. And usually you have a selection of check glass beads, some gemstones, and they are thoughtfully curated. There's also usually going to be some extras available on their site. Um, Rachel will sometimes curate uh, seed bead mixes, um, or just pick out and curate collections of, of seed beads to go with it. Usually they have a collaboration with Neelay Patel from Silver Silk, where you can get some um, pipe chain that has been curated to go with it. Um, he'll create custom colors of pipe chain or flat mesh, and they'll usually be available. When they put the extras up on the site, you'll be able to see that then. So let's take a look. Usually you have your item list, and an explanation of this in the box. And if you lose this, or if you just wanted to see what's in it, then you can go to the website and they'll have that there. So we've got our reveal day, that is December 14th. Um, it is the 13th today, so I'm not going to be posting this until after they do the official unboxing on the Sam's Speed Box YouTube channel. I'll put a link to their channel in the description below. And we'll also link to their page on their site where you can look at the box, you can see what's in it, look at extras, and if you want to sign up, you can sign up. I don't have a coupon code for that, but uh, I think some of the other YouTubers out there do. Like I think um, uh, Sarah, Sarah Lovecraft has one. Um, so you might check her channel and use her code if you wanted to sign up for that. All right, so here we go. Winter Wanderer, living in Madison. I gained a new appreciation for winter's activities. It's my first Wisconsin winter. I picked up snowshoeing. I will to walk around the snow rather than sink into it. That is so cool. My, um, I have a lot of family from like South Dakota area. And so like, there's a lot of, uh, you know, pictures that my grandma or my great grandma had painted um, of like winter wonderlands and sort of thing from the the midwest area there all right so bundling up and puffy and he like winter coat and walking along the paths by the frozen lake happy i could hike and explore through the cold season the sun would peek through the cloudy sky and illuminate crystalline structures in the icy lake. <gasps> that sounds awesome. Okay, so this is inspired by the beauty of an icy landscape. Ah, ice crystal quartz chips. Glacial blue appetite. I love blue appetite. Oh, in addition to some shimmering fire polish rounds, silvery daggers. This is going to be a fantastic box. Let's take a look and see what we've got in here. All right, let's move my candy over here. We can have that later. It's always really well packaged. And this packaging is mostly recyclable. <gasps> Winter Wonderland, look how beautiful. Ah, this is so great. Oh my gosh, I am gonna do a thing with these daggers. Um, I am already having plans to do a, uh, a focal with them. Um, we'll do like a beaded bezel and that sort of thing with them around one of these beads in here. I will figure one out. <laughs> I, I'm already planning my, uh, my projects for this without even opening the bag. <laughs> this is so great. And you know what I love? I love when we get these um, gemmy strands. No, not that one. This one. Here we go. These gemstone strands with the uh, tassels on the ends. And it looks like this has a lot of 
static electricity, but you can use these tassels in your designs. You can use them, and I actually have. I used them in some of my other designs before. So, like, they can be an actual design element in the jewelry that you're making. If you like tassels. I know some of y'all don't, but that's fine, because I do. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the strands out. Looks like this is our bead mix. Looks like we've got eight O's. All right. We've got several bag items. Let's get our strands out first. Ah, uh, look how gorgeous this is. This is like the perfect like winter wonderland theme. I am losing a bag of goodies falling on the ground. All right, found it. All right, let's go down this list of the strands. Okay, Fire Polish Cathedral Teal Silver. There are six millimeters and this is a 15 piece strand. So it is a cloudy day today, so I don't have a bunch of natural lights. So we're using our indoor lights for this. So I'm going to snip this open and get this put into one of these sections in my 15 grid organizers. This is what I like to put my, um, most of my subscription boxes will fit in these. And it just makes it so much easier because then I can see like everything all at once. I can get to it and I don't forget it exists like I do if I put them back in the boxes they came in. So that's why I sort them. It's, it's for me <laughs> like so that I can actually make things with them. All right, so then we've got curved petal pair brios. That's these guys. So they've got a curve to them. You guys can see the curvature on that. And it looks like we've got six of these. And they're silver dust teal. That is their color. So it seems like we've got a lot of silver and teal for some of our colors here. So right now we've got the cathedral beads, the petal beads. And then we've got, uh, the CG next to these, that's checklist. So we've got Fire Polish Saturn Blue Mix Picasso beads. This is an eight piece strand. You can see the faceting along that edge there. That's why they're called Saturn beads, because they've got a little ring. Let's get these guys open. Let's put them somewhere fun. Stick you next to them. Now, some of these are probably going to need to have roommates, but we'll figure that out when we get to them. All right, so now we've got some Sky Appetite Fasted Rondelle Indian Cut. Uh, which, that's these. It is four to five millimeter, and it is a three inch strand. Just going to get a little bit closer. You can see these guys. I'm wondering. Yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and take them off of this strand, but I'm going to keep these separate because I like to use the tassels in jewelry making. I guess you're going in that one. It made its decision. remove that from the tassel later when I go to use it. All right, so I'm just going to stick these right here on top of those. Oof, you sure are poofy. All right, so we've got those and then we've got some check glass melon drops, teal silver. And that is an eight inch strand of that. I'm going to put these in here with these petal drops so that they can be roommates because they are both 
different shapes, but you can tell, you can see the difference when you're looking at them. And that's part of the reason why I will choose things to go in the same compartment as the next, if they're different enough that I can tell what I have in there when I'm looking at it. But similar enough that like, it's cohesive. All right, then we've got some fire polish rounds. There's four millimeter, they're teal. We've also got, which ones? Okay, some six millimeter, this is Blue Lagoon fire polish rounds, and then these teal four millimeter, and I'm gonna put these in the same compartment as each other as well, because they're different sizes, similarish colors. So it should be easy to differentiate the two of them, and I'm just gonna pull this out so you can see the different colors that this comes in, because they are beautiful beads. Look at that. That's that lagoon. It is blue and green. And it looks like there's a little bit of like a yellow or orange tinge to it, depending on how the light is hitting it. These are beautiful, beautiful beads. I am really, really excited about them. And these don't have different colors. They are a single color all the way through, but they are very sparkly. They are fire polish beads. Wow, I love those blue fire polish ones. I'm, I think I would like to get more of these six millimeters when they post extras, because they are just beautiful. All right, so what else do we have? We've got our crystal quartz chips. It is exactly like ice. All right, so let's get our chips. I'm gonna put them up here. Far so ice bluey. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun with this box, you guys. This is so great. All right, so what else have we got? Um, then we've got our dagger beads, and these are single hole daggers. So they've just got the one, and it looks like how many of these do we have? They are icy vitriol is the color, so you can see. It's got, um, looks like one side has a silver coating and then it's clear on the other, but it's got this kind of vitriol color on it. So you can see that goes like that. And I like making them go into little sunbursts sometimes. It's one of my favorite things to do with daggers is use them in a bezel to make a sunbursty thing. I have actually have a couple of, um, tutorials where I, I've done that before and we'll do another one we'll do a project like that with this so I'm going to stick those up there for my daggers and then I've got fire polish rounds these are icy vitriol again so it looks like it's halfway silver and then the other half is that vitriol color it's clear with that sort of AB finish. I'm going to stick these in here with those so they are in the same spot. 
They're the same color, but they are totally, totally different shapes. All right, and then we've got our Candy Jade. That's these guys right here. And it looks like it is a mix with the Candy Jade Glacier Mix. So we've got this dark navy blue color. And then we've got our kind of lighter aqua blue and then closer to a quartz color for this Candy Jade. And I am going to pop this open and get all of these into the same section together. I'm not going to separate them out yet. There is a generous amount of these on that strand. That is fantastic. It was a really long strand, actually. And we've got some saucers. They're like lentils with like a center drilled hole. They are crystal, so they are, have a silver coating on one side and then just a clear crystal on the other. So they look silver, they don't have that vitriol coating. And we've got our sunburst coins. And these ones are the Blue Lagoon. It is the same color as these gorgeous fire polish beads that we had there. And there may just be enough room in here that I can just stack these in here. Now that I've got room for the rest of my things in there. I might move these over to another thing if I have enough room so that we don't have to crowd all of these together. In the meantime, we have our seed bead mix. Or no, wait, these are 11 O's, aren't they? Oh no, they are 8 O's. All right, and it's Lake Icy Lake Mix. That's the name of this mix. Ellen, you're okay, I'm almost done. And it looks like we've got some clear, um, like AB finish ones we've got some kind of a more olive green color we've got some dark blues and we've got some silver lined teals i love getting a good seed bead mix and like i said often they'll have other ones they started doing delicas delica mixes or de just delica tubes that you can add to what you've got. I am opening this up so that I can put this in here. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, it'll still close. All right, so let's see what we've got in our bags. We have a geometric button design. Design and color may vary. So you may get something totally different in your bead bags. Oh, you know what? It's got a printed on here. I don't need to read from the paper anymore. But take a look at this guy. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. That will make a fantastic closure on a bracelet. Let me do that. I'm going to stick that right there in the front. All right. And we've got some Mendy charms and an open lotus charm. And it looks like we've got two of them. And these are Tierra Cast findings. And Tierra Cast did officially shut their doors. Um, they, they're not making anything else. They've shipped out all outstanding orders. And it's really, really sad. So, like, these are probably the last. Some of the, the Tierra Cast things, they're, like, special now. I mean, they were always special. But they're not going to be making any more of these. And these are two-sided. I'm going to just flip this over so you can see the back side of these two on these Mendy charms. I'm going to stick these in here with the button. And here's the Lotus charms. And these don't have like a real difference in their sides. But I'm going to stick them in there as well so that they are all together. And I think I might actually 
have enough spaces that I can go ahead and put my sunburst beads in their own space. They don't have to have roommates because um, some of these are going to take, oh, Preciosa Crystal Octagons. Oh, how cool is this? This is like taped shut or how, how do I open this? I gotta find my, my thing. Ugh. Ellen is dying of starvation and she needs you guys to know about it. So I'm gonna sing her a little song real quick. You're not dying of starvation. You're not dying of starvation. You've eaten several times today. I promise you won't waste away. No, you're not dying of starvation. You're not dying of starvation. Anyway, there's a whole like ukulele chords that go with that, but sometimes she just needs me. And it looks like these are pointed on back and front. This is the back side. It has a more opaque coating. And this is the front side. It is clear, but it looks like we've got kind of an AB-ish kind of finish or vitriol kind of finish. What is the crystal AB? Yeah, <laughs> AB finish. But these connectors have two holes. They've got a hole up here in the top and a hole up here in the bottom or to side to side, however you want to look at it. And it looks like we've got two of these. These would be amazing as earrings. I'm already seeing them as earrings, guys. I'm going to stick them right in there. And then we've got some check glass rectangle flower earring pair. Haha, <laughs> earrings, yay! <laughs> I love that they give us like two of some of these so that we can make earrings with them. And these are the elongated check glass flowers. They have the hole that runs through the length of them from top to bottom. And they've got the pressed flowers with the silver coating and the teal glass and I'm going to stick those in there with those and then we've got a candy jade hex hexagon pendant it is dyed blue so this is candy jade like these and they will absolutely go together and we've got a top drill and it is the same on both sides with that faceting All right, and we've got a laser etched rectangle tree color varies. So you guys might get a different color than I do for your laser etched tree. And if you can see the light coming through the back side of that, that is really cool. I love these specialty beads, but that means since there are different colors that when they post extras, you might be able to get some different colors of this. Like if you didn't get this color and you wanted it, um, you could probably buy that once they post extras on the shop. All right, and then we've got a table cut flower, which is silver and it looks like our hole goes sort of top to bottom. It has five petals and it's very silver. And I'm gonna stick that guy right in there with my other specialty beads. And this is the Winter Wanderer from Sam's Bead Shop, Sam's Bead Box. And again, I'll put links to where you can get all of those down there below. But this is beautiful and it is very wintry. And we are going to have a lot of fun making with this, guys. I can already tell. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.